uh, hi friends welcome to the python programming series and my name is nilu and uh, uh, so we already have completed a uh, uh, command variable data types number in our previous lectures and uh, before that i have made videos on the same lecture also but there was some sound problem so i am again completing all the remaining topics uh, so uh, first uh, come to this python casting uh, okay so uh, why why we need this python uh, casting so there may be a uh, times when you want to specify a type on onto a variable so this can be done by with casting uh, because we know uh, python is a uh, object oriented language and uh, as it is it uses classes to define its data type so and it is all, also uses primitive type so uh, casting um, in python can be done using this uh, integer uh, constructor float constructor str constructor so these are called constructor in python constructor function in python so this integer constructor is an uh, constructor which is uh, an integer number uh, which construct an integer number from the integer integral literal and from the float literal and from the uh, string literal so uh, if you <clears throat> have a integer float and a string you can cast it into a in, in uh, integer and then uh, this float is used to construct a float number from uh, from an integer literals float literals and string literals and uh, um, in the same way it's str constructor that is string constructor is uh, also a constructor that constructs a string from a wide variety of data types including string integers and the float literals so uh, this is an example uh, where uh, where uh, the thing uh, where uh, it will be like uh, if you have um, if you have this okay let it be so uh, if you have this value as uh, initially you have this value as 1 and uh, this value as uh, 5 and uh, this value is as uh, is 4.6 so uh, you can say this this is a uh, integer that this is also integer and this is also integer and uh, we are uh, here this is integer but once we uh, cast it into uh, this integer into float so we are using this keyword float uh, to cast this into this uh, in uh, this uh, float type so uh, this is a very uh, easy way and uh, when i print uh, when we print this thing so this integer uh, is given as 1.0 because it is uh, now cast into a float variable and uh, this uh, 5 is also cast into a uh, string because this is also integer and it is cast into a uh, string and in the same way uh, in this um, uh, this float this number is float and it is cast into end so this is about the uh, python casting and uh, mm, so uh, let's come to python string so uh, python uh, okay so uh, yes so we are talking about uh, now we are talking about the python string so strings in python is uh, surrounded by either a single quotation or a, a double quotation so for example here you can see uh, this uh, this is using a double quotation so this is a string and uh, instead of this uh, you can also say like uh, same thing you can also write like uh, for example i have this print and uh, here instead of this 
I can use this symbol uh, single quote instead of double quote I can also use single quote so both will give the same result so uh, we can say string and python are sur surrounded by either a single quotation marks or a double quotation marks so and uh, uh, if you want to display this so we we can directly display this using the print command and uh, uh, after that uh, the another way of printing this is string python is string is uh, restore this python is string into a variable and uh, uh, you can uh, print that variable so it will print the uh, string and uh, one uh, so this is both are same uh, uh, this notation and this notation just it is a difference between different uh, quotation so uh, this 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 and this will both will get this equal result right so uh, now uh, okay so now next is a uh, string as uh, array so uh, like uh, um, like an other programming language uh, okay so like in other programming languages uh, string in python are uh, array of byte representing unicode character uh, what does it mean it, it means like a uh, string can also be uh, uh, here in python a string can also be used as array and uh, can be iterate reiterate uh, as arrays for example uh, let's uh, say uh, this my name is uh, um, containing this string and uh, in this similar way uh, like uh, array uh, store this uh, string as uh, as index of 0 1 2 3 4 5 so in this in the similar way uh, this variable uh, string variable is also stored the uh, this string so uh, to access this um, any index you just need to write the variable name and the index so it will give for uh, here you are uh, um, asking for the second index so uh, this is counting a start from 0 1 2 so in uh, so this e will print so uh, okay so next next thing is uh, so uh, okay and one more thing you can use a square bracket for this right so uh, next thing is the you can also loop through a string you can uh, use for loop for uh, your string for example uh, this x in my name my name contain the needle and it, it is like array and uh, you are uh, one by one you are iterating each index so in this uh, way you are um, in this way you can uh, print your uh, first character and then second characters third character and fourth and fifth so it is uh, printing the, the value what is stored in the zeroth index and what is stored in the first index and what is stored in the second index in a similar way all right so the next thing is uh, uh, you can also uh, calculate the length of that variable uh, the length of this variable can be calculated using uh, len function uh, there is a len function so you you need to just write the alien and it will give the length of uh, this string and um, yes and uh, one uh, if you have a, a string uh, in variable and if you want to search whether something is present in your string or not uh, then you can just write the name of that uh, uh, sub string and uh, you can uh, use this in operator and uh, uh, once you you'll use this in keyword and uh, <clears throat> uh, you after that you can use where you want to search like the, in this variable you are you want to search this thing so uh, yeah so in, in this case name is present in um, this string so it will get the true yes because it will give yes your name is present in this is uh, string and uh, there is another uh, keyword like uh, called not so that keyword uh, is 
that that keyword is not in so uh, this will give uh, true when your keyword is not available but if your keyword is available then it will give a false so uh, you can say this example name not in any my name but uh, name is present in my uh, um, string so it will give false it will give true whether this condition will happen and uh, mm, so same similar thing you can do with the uh, uh, if else statement like uh, you like you want uh, uh, to use the same thing as a uh, if statement like if a is not in my name that means if uh, a is, is not available in my name then then this statement will true and you will uh, go to go inside this if condition so uh, uh, in this case yes this condition is true because a is, is not available in my name so you are printing this uh, c and uh, my name is nido so this whole thing will print so uh, next uh, thing is so uh, this is all about the uh, python string and uh, now we are uh, talking about slicing this string i think the font is a uh, little less so i think i should increase this font yes so now uh, this font is okay so uh, let's come to the slicing of a string and uh, in slicing of a string you um, uh, this slicing written a range of character by uh, using a slice syntax so uh, here uh, this uh, range it, uh, this uh, you can see then that this place so what it is happening uh, you want to slice of any any character any uh, sub string from out of this string so what you can uh, do you just uh, use the on uh, this bracket and uh, uh, this uh, inside this bracket you will give the range that that is mainly because slicing is used for returning returning a range of characters by using a uh, slice in syntax right so it is specify this uh, you need to specify the uh, starting index and the and index and uh, always remember this and index will give uh, go up to the n minus 1 index for example you are giving here 6 so instead of uh, from first to 6 is what uh, 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 and uh, the six character uh, six character is uh, e but it will give the uh, 6 minus 1 it means it will give from m uh, from y to this so this is the is, uh, a quick result of it and the next thing is uh, if you want to give the uh, this thing slice if you want to slice it from the starting point so uh, in this case you you don't need to give the starting index because it will automatically uh, take the starting index uh, a starting index is always from the zero so from zero th index it will give up to this range right so in the similar way if you want to slice it as uh, slice to the end so what you need to do you just you don't need to give the and index name here you can give the starting index from where you want to uh, slice and you don't need to give the uh, and index uh, right so uh, one more thing uh, you can also sli uh, slice from by giving the uh, indexing from the uh, end point that is uh, indexing uh, reverse indexing is like mine uh, it is start from minus one minus two minus three minus four minus five uh, so uh, you are giving from minus six so uh, a minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 minus 4 minus 5 and minus 6 so minus 3 and 6 is here uh, uh, blank space and uh, uh, after that uh, so is blank space and uh, from blank space to uh, minus 3 so there is minus 6 minus 7 minus uh, blank space to it need to give the from the 
uh, this minus 3 so minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 so it will give uh, but in similar way it, it will give the one one plus one thing so uh, for example here in previous uh, slide you are writing it 6 but it will give the uh, n minus 1 so this is a way of representing ir and x in uh, so uh, the next thing next topic is our uh, modifying the string so if you want to modify our uh, um, string we can use several methods we have a number of method available for that uh, for example upper case lower case upper lower strip uh, so these are some methods uh, so here uh, this is my string and uh, if i want to convert this string into uppercase so i will use this upper uh, method and if you want to convert this string into a lower case so you we can use the lower method right so uh, in the similar way if you want uh, this strip uh, is uh, strip method is used to remove the wide spaces uh, from the starting and from the end so here let's see i have these many of spaces away inside uh, this and uh, if uh, if i uh, will print without let's see i will print it uh, without using this method uh, without using this strip method so what result it will gives it will give uh, as it uh, the result as it is as it is for example Mm. Uh, see so you can here you can see the difference between both uh, using a strip and uh, without a strip so without a strip it will give whatever uh, is inside this it will consider all as a string um, but a strip will remove the white spaces from the starting and from the end so mm, here is a clear explanation for this and the next thing is if you want to replace something the, the next method is replace method which will replace your uh, sub string sub uh, sub string or character from a different character for example i want to uh, replace my name that is my name is nilu with nilam so what i can do i can write the starting uh, what word what keyword i uh, what uh, character I want to replace with uh, what? So I want to replace you with am. So I will give this uh, you and uh, I will write uh, am. So this will give the my name is Milam. And uh, another method is split. So split method uh, returns a list where the text between the specified separator becomes the list item. For example, uh, let's say my name is nilu so i have this is my name uh, and uh, nilu i have this is string so if you if this will get a, a comma separator so it will give uh, this result as it will uh, uh, i am splitting this string uh, from this uh, separate uh, this comma so it will separate into two uh, different string all right and this is also uh, valid for uh, mm, uh, like i have uh, is and i want to separate it is from is so that that was separated into a comma separator right so it's also a very easy example of it and uh, uh, the next thing is uh, um concatenating a uh, two string so uh, we if you want to concatenate two string uh, we need to use this concatenate operator and for example in uh, i have a one, one string in one variable and second string in second variable and uh, i want to uh, concatenate this uh, then i will um, use plus operators and this will concatenate my string right and uh, uh, this task you can also directly you can al uh, directly also do without uh, storing it into a different variable so uh, this is uh, 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 this is about the concatenation if you want to add uh, uh, some other string some other keyword or uh, something else so you can also use uh, uh, this 
comma separator whatever you want to add between these two string already available string you want to add something uh, and then you can uh, give this in uh, inside this uh, quotation marks and uh, so i have given this uh, comma inside this quotation marks and it will give uh, it will give uh, add both a string as well as uh, add this comma separator and uh, uh, okay so the next uh, thing is format so string format so uh, let's uh, let me add one more cell and uh, uh, okay so uh, what is this i am talking about string format and string format um okay so this is like uh, it should make uh, it should be a uh, heading so okay so this uh, format will, uh, will work like uh, it will uh, take the value from the uh, some variable like you have one string and you want to uh, take uh, some value uh, from that uh, different variable inside this so you can use this uh, curly braces where you want to access this value and uh, uh, once you will access this value then uh, uh, then it will be like uh, this 22 will be uh, used in this place so for this you need to write a uh, my name dot format which uh, string you want to format and uh, uh, by uh, by which variable you want to use in this string so this this is this will be like my name is nilu and i am 22 right and uh, in a similar way you can also do um, if you want to use two different variable inside this and uh, and uh, so you can also give two curly braces for this so it uh, sequentially uh, first variable come in uh, in first place and the second variable will be uh, access to this um, this access by this position second position so uh, if I, I write uh, if, I, if I want to format this with A's and salary so this will uh, give the A's and this will give the salary right and uh, another way of doing it as okay so another way of uh, doing it is like uh, you are doing it uh, this way uh, you can uh, switch this and uh, with uh, is so uh, let's see what happened by using this so uh, see so here is the difference like uh, uh, whatever you are giving in this format the position will take in that sequence only so you have given uh, this uh, salary first so in this first place it will give salary and in second place it will give the uh, it will give uh, it will take this uh, is variable values right and uh, um, this can also be done the similar thing also we done by using uh, instead of uh, doing this uh, swapping the variable name or something you can also use uh, indexing like here in this place i want to use uh, first and so this will store in a zero in zeroth index this will store in first index and uh, while you write uh, index name so it will uh, the value will be presented here uh, so uh, this is about uh, formatting and uh, now uh, come to after string format uh, we will come to uh, we will come to escape character right so uh, escape character is uh, simply uh, character which you want to add uh, like uh, um, like if you already if you have a string and uh, you want to some add some you want to add something so you can use this escape character although 
so the next thing is like uh, uh, string method so string have different method uh, for example it is having a capitalized method it will uh, give the upper case and uh, it will convert in, into upper case in same way i have a case fold uh, we have a center method to find out the center of a string uh, center uh, center of a string like oh, sub string center sub string concept we if you want to count the character in a string so it will count and uh, if you want to check uh, whether it is uh, whether my string is and with something like my uh, whether my for uh, up, uh, above case i will uh, i can ask uh, my string is uh, and with 70k so the answer is yes this and this string is uh, and with 70k so it will give the true and uh, if you want to find something in your string you can use this uh, find method so the, uh, there is an uh, other variable uh, method also available for the same task uh, now come to a python boolean um, booleans so python booleans uh, is take two values whether it is uh, it give the result as true or it will give the result as false so uh, it is a uh, used mostly used to compare uh, two numbers or compare two things uh, whether it can be a string integer float whatever so uh, here in simple example you can say uh, while i am printing that uh, 20 is equal to equals to 10 <clears throat> so definitely 20 is not equal to equal to 10 so in this case uh, it will print false and uh, uh, this is a correct statement of uh, 20 is greater than 10 yes it will give true and uh, this will give again this will give false because this is not a correct statement this is not a true statement so uh, this uh, boolean you can also use in if else statement to compare conditions like uh, you have x equals to 20 and y equals to 10 and uh, you are uh, having a condition like if y is greater than x so is y is greater than x no uh, the y uh, your y is not greater than x so it will not go to this condition it will switch to else condition and it will give uh, it will print this y is not greater than x right so um, there is uh, these things you can also uh, use uh, with like uh, this if you put any string any integer any value to this bool variable it will always print true for example uh, bool a so a have some values then it will give true uh, let's say you have a b and b doesn't have any string it is an empty string so this will give the false and uh, in third example also you don't have anything you are giving empty string so it will give false so for uh, empty string case uh, bool variable always gives uh, false and uh, for um, uh, for example this is giving uh, we are giving 20 here so yes this is uh, this is what we, uh, here we are giving some values so it will give true uh, right so uh, this there is uh, some cases uh, where uh, there is some cases where uh, it will always give false so these are the cases where uh, boolean variable always give false uh, in case of none you you will write none if you write none if you give empty string if you give false uh, any kind of braces, uh, brackets you are giving you are giving zero it always give false right and uh, one more thing is uh, and if, uh, you can uh, this uh, this boolean also can take the value from the functions for example this is your function is and it is returning the true value so whatever it is returning uh, you it will give also give that thing so this is all about um, some basic concept and uh, now and in next video we will learn about the python operator 
सो थैंक यू फॉर वॉचिंग माई वीडियो प्लीज सब्सक्राइब टू माई चैनल हिट द बेल आइकन टू गेट दोटिफिकेशन फॉर द लेटेस्ट वीडियोज थैंक यू सो मच